hi guys welcome to my channel it's your girl nurse mj so guys today we are going to be talking about questions that you are likely to get in interviews now these questions might be maybe you're trying to apply to a nursing school maybe you're trying to get your first job as a nurse or whatever the case might be you are likely to see this question because i have gone through several interviews and these questions each and every one of these interviewers ask me this question so i am here to give you guys this question plus i'm going to tell you how to answer these questions and what those interviewers have in mind when they ask this question. So now if this is what you're interested in, keep watching and stay tuned. So the first question we're going to be talking about is tell me about yourself. Now, a lot of people, even not all interviewers are going to ask you this question. Tell me about yourself. Now, when this question is actually really, they just want to see what do you have? What do you have as a human being? What are your values? They want to see if you're able to recognize that these are my values these are my qualities and not just only recognizing it, but to talk about it. Bear in mind that this is the first time these people are getting to see you. And this is the first impression. This is the time that you are actually allowed to brag about yourself in other words like brag about yourself tell them your qualities hey i'm involved in this organization i am involved in this charity group i do this i do that for a living basically you just want to give them things that are very very unique about you that not things like i have a dog i have two cats they don't care about that they want to know about your intrinsic value as a human and also what do you really have to bring to the society these are the things that they have in mind when they ask you to tell them about yourself the second question we're going to see is they're going to ask you what made you choose this hospital or what made you choose the school or what makes you want to be here in the first place now this question usually they want to see like what do you have in mind are you there for a short time are you there for a long time of course if it's a job thing they want to know if you're there for a short time if you're just there because of the money you want to say things that are very very like interesting about it and this is the time that you actually want to brag about the hospital or whichever school you are this is when you're going to tell them things like i love this place i love the culture here i love the tradition here i love how you guys welcome people i love how you guys make me feel this place i want a place that when I go to I feel like it's a home it's my second home I want a place that I am happy to get to and I have done my research and you guys are able to provide that quality and I want to be a part of this team because of that they want to see that you have been able to recognize their values and not just only that you recognize their value you want to be part of it and that you want to and that you plan to increase that value or to add to it they want to see that you appreciate that about them the next question we're going to be talking about why should we pick you over other applicants now this is a question that i have gotten so many times even when i was applying to nursing school when i was applying to my first job everybody was asking why should we pick you we're going to talk about things like i want i think you should pick me here because i'm a good team player because i bring um positivity to the table because where i'm at i get my job done and i always do it in a safe manner you know you want to say things that's going to make them see that okay yeah like okay she is kind of different i mean that's what they're asking right tell me something why should we pick you over somebody else so you should pick me because i am valuable you should pick me because i am a resource that you guys are going to be so glad that you have you should pick me because i am going to add so much value i'm going to continue with the work that you guys have put to make this a very perfect institution and add to it and i'm going to come bring in positive change that we can all grow from i'm going to bring growth because that is what i'm here for they want to see that you want to add value to them they want to see that you are ready to be a part of them that you and you're just ready to go for it they want to see that light so you have to show them that you're that light you're that piece that they need to add to their also if that makes sense the next question that you are definitely going to see is what they ask you things like tell us a time where you had to deal with a very difficult situation and how do you deal with it guys this is question this is a question that i have actually seen i have actually i've gotten this question so many times i can't even count how many times i've had this question doing an interview one of the reasons why they ask you this question is because they want to see, they want to see your problem solving skills, especially if you're trying to go for an interview, like um, you're going to try and go for a nursing interview. Being a nurse is very stressful and there's so much problems that's going to arise along the way in the profession. So they want to see that you are that person that that's able to recognize a problem and not just only recognize a problem, but you have to come 
up with a very, very fast and effective or efficient way to deal with that problem. They want to see how you behave under stress. They want to see how you think under stress because these are the things that they want to get out of you because these are the things that you are likely going to see in the profession. So they want to see how you talk about these things before you put them into action, if that makes sense. The next question that you are likely going to get in an interview is, they say, tell us a time that you've had to do some, you were asked to do something that you weren't trained to do or something that was and like in your ability you were in best hat what did you do in this what how did you respond to this and how did you do it and what step did you take these are uh, questions that when they ask you this question usually they want to see that you are able to recognize that something is beyond my ability and i need to go for a supervisor i need to call somebody to do it they want to make sure that you're not that kind of person that just jumps into things without really really thinking about it that you have that you have that discipline in you to know that this is hard and I need someone that is more experienced or I need to talk to them and tell them, Hey, I haven't done this before. For example, if it's a nursing job, they want to see that you can tell your supervisor, I understand that you want me to do this. I haven't done this before. Can you be there while I try it and correct me if I do anything this way and let me know what I do right. So next time I can be able to do this if Efficiently. These are the kind of response that they require from you when they ask you this question. And of course, I use nursing as um, an example because that's my field of career. But I mean, this is not just only nursing. This is in any other area of your life that you might be getting this interview question for or you might be getting this interview for. So they want to see your communication skills. Are you the type that will really communicate or are you the type that will just go into it and mess it up and cause problem or do it on safely and cause harm to your patient or whatever the case may be? Maybe. The last question that we're going to be talking about today, guys, is do you have any question for us? And now this is like them asking you to asking you to ask them a question. Yeah, that's what it is. And let me tell you guys something. I used to I used to be usually when they ask me, do you have any question? I would say no. And when I started doing interview, I realized that that is actually not a good response. When you say no, it's like, OK, what? What's next? Like she's not interested or anything. When they ask you that question, usually they want you to ask them a question. And guys, I don't care what the question might be. Just make sure it's a reasonable and a respectful question, of course. Um, you can ask them questions like, how long have you been working here? And what is your best and your bad part of working with this company? Things like that. They love it. Let me tell you guys, like I have asked a lot of these people this kind of questions and they love it. They answer me with so much smile and they're so eager. You can see that they they look at you and they know that you are interested in them. They know you're interested in the company and they know that you've already started seeing yourself as a part of them that, and that's why you're asking this question about their experience because they know that you are thinking about your experience and you want to know how to have a good experience as well. So don't ever leave a, do you have any question for me blank? And if for any reason, let's say you have anxiety and you just couldn't think about a question, you can tell them things like, at the moment, I don't have any question, but can you give me an email address or phone number that I can reach whenever a question arises or whenever I have anything that I want to ask somebody? I mean, it's you're not really, really asking them a question, but at least you're asking them for a content information to reach out to. And this is basically going to show them that, okay, she doesn't have a question now, but for her to have a contact, that means there is, uh, she has interest in us to even want to get our contact because honestly if i'm not interested in somebody i don't care about your number you can keep it to yourself right but in this situation they want to see that you're interested and that's why you're asking them for their contact and they will definitely give you um your number but i mean before you go for an interview just think about a question anything it has to be reasonable of course and it has to be respectful and ask them and this is it for this video guys i have been able to give you guys the six tips and i know i'm trying to not make this video a long one because i just want it to be fast and informative of course so if you haven't done so yet guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video and go ahead and share this video to your friends family or wherever you know that is planning for a big interview because let me tell you these questions you're likely going to see at least 80 percent of the time thank you guys for watching this video please like subscribe share follow me on instagram ask me any questions if you guys have any this is it for this video guys thank you and have a good one bye